how's everybody doing so got this thing all broke in uh, I'm still going to run it a few more times on the stand had to modify the valve covers because the lifter or the rockers were hitting the valve covers so I beat the crap out of them with a hammer and uh, made some clearance and now nothing hits I got new valve covers on the way don't worry them are just temporary to break it in but they actually don't leak I thought they'd leak like crazy after I took a hammer to them like that but anyway here's a before I go too far in this video here's a short clip of this thing after break in So yeah, as you can tell, that thing revs to the moon with very little throttle input. Like you just barely cracked that throttle a couple times, and it revs up real high. <laughs> it runs good. So the break-in went good. Everything went good. Uh, that thing just screams, man. And I, I'm sure it'll do a hell of a lot more than what it did in that little clip I showed you. Because I wasn't planning on revving it that high. It just wanted to, I guess. I don't know, but. I just blipped the throttle a couple times and kind of stood back away from it like holy cow I ain't never heard an engine in my shop sound like that <laughs> that's a good engine so the break-in went really really good everything's perfect you know, except for the valve covers uh, the timing light is garbage so I timed it by ear and kind of by feel and I got it right where I wanted it the exhaust is not getting hot everything's happy uh, there's no run on when you shut it off. It's not pinging. It doesn't try to kick back when you first start it. One thing I have noticed is uh, I don't even want to say it, but it will kick back with the ignition off. <laughs> if you pump the gas a couple times and crank it over, it will try to light the gas off just from the compression. So I got, I don't have, I was wanting to put 93 in that tank and put some of that 100 low lead on top of it makes it about half and half but what ended up happening was I put the 87 in that tank when I had that engine on there didn't run enough of it out and uh, I was like well it's half full I went ahead and filled it the rest of the way up with the 100 low lead didn't even think that that was 87 and that wasn't the 93 usually I run the 93 when I'm doing stuff like this and I don't know why but so this thing will run off 87 octane blended with about not quite half uh, 100 low lead but so it was kind of the second time I started it was trying to uh, start without the key on without the ignition switch on so what I did is I hooked a line up to it and turned on the switch pumped all that fuel out into a tank and then I put just 93 in it and that's what it ran off of in that clip and just 93 it seems to be okay so I don't think I'm gonna have to run any additives or anything I think I can get away with 93 octane but 87 no 87 I think it would not like at all <laughs> but, uh, it's gonna be fine on the 93 I just have a feeling but the 87 is a no-no even if it makes even if it is mixed with a little bit of a hundred low lead so anyway, big thanks to Bumper for helping me get this engine out today. Uh, he needed an axle for his Dodge. I happened to have one, so I happened to have an engine that needed taken out of a track. I told him, well, I'll give you that axle. You come over here, give me a couple days work or something. So I made him take the engine out. I helped him, but he did most of it. That's kind of nice. <laughs> I was just going on the other day, I think on a TLC Bears live stream, uh, talking about, yeah, I like doing stuff myself. It gets done right. And, but I tell you, having somebody in the shop just helping you with stuff, man, we got that engine out in like an hour. I mean, it, it wasn't nothing. Usually it takes me an hour and a half, two hours to get an engine out. But every bolt on here was probably put on with an impact because it was all Superman tight and it was all half metric, half standard. I'm not sure what the hell was going on when they put this truck together, but the bolts were either Superman tight and they was metric or they was standard bolts and they was loose so 
it was a fight between metric and standard the whole time we was taking this thing apart so that's not going to happen when I put it back together I'm just going to have to go find some bolts off of something or go buy me some new bolts <coughs> excuse me anyway so there's you know y'all a uh, real quick update before I get all tongue twisted up here uh, yeah, that engine runs good, man. I'd fire it up again, but I think my wife and the neighbors are getting sick of that shit. <laughs> I'll run it some more tomorrow, probably, but I think it's going to sit there overnight and not run. So, but man, that thing runs good. I've never heard an engine run that smooth and rev up like that. Like, that engine runs really good. The one on the S10 runs really, really good. That engine is something special. That's different. That's not like any other engine I've ever built. That engine's just so good, man. <laughs> so smooth. I mean, it's in the torque of the damn thing when you rev it up. That one would rev up real quick, but this one, like, torques the whole engine stand when you rev it up. It's You can tell that thing's going to have a bunch of power. Probably all up top, but it'll have a bunch of power. Anyway, I'm kind of excited got a bunch of adrenaline going from this thing being running <laughs> y'all take her easy and i will uh see you in the next video thanks for watching